So here we have our income data again, and we want to create a five number summary for this data. And so we need to figure out where our quartile 1, quartile 3, median, and min and max are. So minimum is fairly easy, right? That's our smallest value, and our maximum is fairly easy. That's the, you know, the largest value. And now we need to find our, uh, quartile 1, quartile 3, and median. So for quartile 1, uh, for quartile 1, our locator will be 25% of our data. We have 100 pieces of data is 25. And since that's a whole number, we know we need to go between the 25th and 26th data values. So the mean of the 25th and 26th data values. For our median, and I think we've done this one before, but that's okay. Uh, for our median, right, we find, uh, half of our data values. Notice it's really the same as multiplying by 0.5 there. We come up with 50, which is a whole number, so we need the mean of the 50th and 51st data values. And then for quartile 3, uh, let's see, it's gonna come out to be 75. And so we need the mean of the 75th, and 76th data values. Okay, so now we gotta get counting. Uh, so here we have six pieces of data. Uh, plus another eight is 14, so together this is 14 pieces of data. Uh, plus, let's see, plus 11 is 25, and so here we've got 25 pieces of, of data. And then, let's see, if we go down plus, uh, the, the plus another 17, uh, let's see, 17 and 25 is, uh, 42, so that's 42 pieces of data. And so notice now we've passed, uh, our 25th and 26th pieces of data. In this case, the 25th piece of data would have been, uh, here, it, right? Because that was, these added up to 25 pieces of data. So the 25th piece of data is, uh, 25,000. Whereas the 26th piece of data is in the next category here is, is 30,000. And if we find the mean of those, uh, so if we add those up and divide by 2, we will get, uh, let's see, what is that, 27.5 thousand, uh, as our quartile 1 value. So let's continue on here. Uh, so if we continue counting, uh, let's see, if we go 42 plus our 19 there, gets us up to 61. So we have 61 pieces of data here. So that means that data values 50 and 51 both fell in the 35,000 category. So the mean of those is 35,000. And now, Let's see here, 61 and 20 is 81. Uh, so we have 81 pieces of data if we go all the way down to here, which means the 75th and 76th pieces of data must have been in this category, uh, in the 40,000 category, so 40,000 and 40,000. Uh, and if we find the mean of those, of course, we're gonna get 40,000. Uh, and so it looks like our quartile 3 value is 40,000. So let's go ahead and write our five number, su five number summary now. Our minimum is 15,000. Our quartile 1 value was 27.5 thousand. Our quartile, uh, sorry, our median was 35,000. Quartile 3 was 40,000. And our maximum was 50,000. And so there is the five number summary for this income data.